Hi, welcome to the video solutions to the flowcharts practice questions. In this video, we're going to go through the answers to the flowcharts practice questions. If you do need any extra help on flowcharts, if you go to codemath.com forward slash content, and you scroll down all the way to video 364, there's a video tutorial there on flowcharts. Alternatively, you could scan that QR code. Okay, let's get started. So let's have a look at question number one. So question number one, we've been given a flowchart and we've got our start and we input the number n and then we're asked, is n a prime number? And if it's not, we add one. And then we're asked again, is n a prime number? If it's not, you add one and so on. And when n is a prime number, we go on down and then we have to answer the question, is n bigger than 20? And if it's not, you add one and then you go back up to, is n a prime number and so on. And when n is a prime number and when n is bigger than 20, you scroll on down and you're then asked to print n and stop. So then you've got your one number. So let's have a look at our start number. Our start number is 15. And then we have to use the flow chart to find the number printed. So let's go up to the beginning and let's put in the number 15. So is 15 a prime number? No, it's not because you can divide it by three and five. So add one, 16. Is 16 a prime number? No, add one. Because obviously you can divide it by two and four and so on. No, add one. So then we've got 17. Is 17 a prime number? Yes. Is it bigger than 20? No. Add one. So there are now we've got 18. Is 18 a prime number? No. Add one. 19. 19. Is 19 a prime number? Yes, it is. Is 19 greater than 20? No, it's not. So we need to add one. 20. Is 20 a prime number? No. Add one. 21. Is 21 a prime number? No. Add one. Because obviously you can divide it by 3 and 7. 22. Is 22 a prime number? No, you can divide it by 2 and 11. So no. Add 1. 23. Is 23 prime? Yes. Is 23 bigger than 20? Yes. So then we have to print n. So n is going to be 23. And that's it. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So question number two, here's our flow chart. We have to start off with a value for n and the starting value for n, let's have a look, is 30. So we're gonna start with 30 and we're asked, is 30 divisible by eight? So is 30 divisible by eight? No, so we add one, so we've now got 31. Is 31 divisible by eight? No, add one, so we've now got 32. Is 32 divisible by eight? By eight? Yes, it is. Is it divisible by six? No, it's not, so we need to add one. So we've now got 32, uh, 33. Is 33 divisible by eight? No, so we've now got 30. 34, no, 35, no, 36, no, 37, no, 38, no, 39, no, and then add on 40, so 40. Is 40 divisible by 8? Yes. Is it divisible by 6? No. So add on 41, let's get 41. Is it divisible by 8? No. 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, and every all of these, they're not divisible by 8. 46, 47, no, 48. 48, is 48 divisible by 8? Yes, it is. Is it divisible by 6? Yes, it is. So print n. So n is 48. And that's it. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. Our next question, question 3. We've got to input n. Let's have a look and see what n is. n is going to be 20. And we're asked, is 20 a square number? No, add one, so 21. Is 21 a square number? No, add one, 22. Is 22 a square number? No, add one, 23. Is 23 a square number? No, add one, 24. No, add one, 25. 25. Is 25 a square number? Yes. Is it a cube number? No. Now, then we're going to add one, so we've now got 26. And we're going to keep on going around until we get the next square number. So 27, 28, 29, 30. And we we'll keep on going 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. And then we get to our next square number, which is 36. Is 36 a square number? Yes. Is it a cube number? No. And then we'd add one again. And we'd keep on going to so 37, 38, 39, all the way. And we'd carry on all the way to 49. Is 49 a square number? Yes, it is. Is it a cube number? No, it's not. So then we'd keep on adding one, 50, 51, and so on. Then we get to our next square number. So we've got 7 times 7 is 49. So 8 times 8 is 64. So we get all the way around to 64. Is 64 a square number? Yes, it is. Is it a cube number? Yes, it is. So then we ask to print it. So the answer would be 64. And that's it. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. Okay, let's have a look at question number four. And then question number four, we've been given a flow chart again, and it's a bit more complicated this one. And we've got a table at the bottom, and it says starting with A equals three and B equals one, use the flow chart to find the values printed. So let's start with A equals three and B equals one. So input A and B. So here we've got a formula, and T equals A squared plus B squared. 
where a squared, 3 squared is 9, and b squared is 1 squared is 1, add them together is 10. And it's a calculator question, so we could use a calculator to do that. So we've got t, t is equal to 10. Is t bigger than 90? No, it's not. So we need to add 1 to both a and b. So now a is going to be equal to 4, and b is equal to 2. So we're going to do 4 squared plus 2 squared. And 4 squared is 16. 2 squared is 4. Add them together is equal to 20. Is 20 bigger than 90? No, it's not. So we need to add another 1. And we're going to carry on until we get an answer that's bigger than 90. So we're going to square a, 25. Square b, so 3 squared is equal to 9. Add them together, 34. Is 34 bigger than 90? No, it's not. Add 1, so 6 and 4. 6 squared is 36. 4 squared is 16, add them together, 52. Is it bigger than 90? No, it's not. Add another one, so 7 and 5. 7 squared is 49. 5 squared is 25, add them together, is 74. Is it bigger than 90? No, it's not. Add another one. 8 and 6. 8 squared now is equal to 64, plus 36 is equal to 100. Is 100 bigger than 90? Yes, it is. So we have to print A and B, so A equals 8 and B equals 6. So we'd write that down. A equals 8 and B equals 6 and that's it. Okay let's have a look at our next question. So we've been given this flow chart and we've been asked to input A, B and C. So we've got P is equal to 2A squared plus B squared and Q is equal to C cubed and we're asked is Q bigger than P? If it's not we add 1 to all the values of A, B and C and we go back around and we work them out again and whenever Q is bigger than P we stop and we print A, B and C. So let's start off with our values of a, b, and c. So a is equal to 5, b is equal to 3, and c is equal to 1. So p is equal to, I'm going to write this down, p is equal to 2 times a squared, so it's going to be 2 times 5 squared, plus b squared, which is equal to 3 squared. And we're going to work that out. Now remember bob mass, we have to do the squaring before we do the multiplication. And this is a calculator question, so we could do 2 multiplied by 5 squared plus 3 squared. And when we do that, we get the answer 59. So that's equal to 59. So P equals 59. Now Q is equal to C cubed. So whenever we cube C, C is equal to 1. So cube that is equal to 1. Is 1 bigger than 59? No, it's not. So it's not. So we're going to go this way. We're going to add 1 to all the values. So 6, 4, and 2. And we're going to do it again. So we're going to do 2 times 6 squared. And then plus 4 squared. So we're going to do P equals 2 times 6 squared plus 4 squared and see what we get and that's equal to 88 so p equals 88 so 88 and q is equal to c cubed so 2 cubed is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 is 8 is 8 bigger than 88 it's not so we now need to add 1 to all the values of a b and c so 7 5 and 3 so we're now going to do p equals 2 times 7 squared plus 5 squared so that's going to be whenever we work that out that's equal to 123, so 123. And Q is going to be equal to C cubed. 3 cubed is 27. And then is 27 bigger than 123? No, it's not. So we need to add 1 to all the values again. So 8, 6, and 4. 4 cubed is 64. Let's work out what P is. So P equals 2 times 8 squared plus 6 squared. And when we work that out, it's 164. Is 64 bigger than 164? No, it's not. So again, we need to add 1 to all the values. So it's going to be 9, 7, and 5. 5 cubed is 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. So Q is equal to 125. Now we need to work out P. P is equal to 2 times 9 squared plus 7 squared. And that's equal to 211. Is, is 125 bigger than 211? No, it's not. So let's add one again. So 10, 8, and 6. So let's start by working out Q. So Q is 6 cubed. That is 216. Now let's work out what P is. P is equal to 2 times 10 squared plus 8 squared. And that's equal to 264. Is 216 bigger than 264? No, it's not. So we need to add one again. So 11, 9, and 7. 7 cubed is 343. Now we need to work out what P is. So P is equal to 2 times 11 squared plus 9 squared. 
and that's equal to 323. And we're asked, is Q, which is 343, bigger than 323? It is, so we need to print the values of A, B, and C. So 11, 9, and 7. And that's it. So these have been the video solutions to the flowcharts practice questions. If you need any extra help in flowcharts, remember there is that video tutorial on video 364 on corporate maths, or you can scan the QR code to be brought straight to it. I really hope you find this video useful. If you have found it useful, please like it. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And thanks so much. Cheers. Bye.